died. And I promise in the next couple of years, I'll try my best, but. <laughs> but you're just stuck with me still being here. What can I tell you? Actually, um, a lifetime achievement could also mean just um, managing to carry on. And uh, I have managed to carry on in the luckiest and most wonderful way possible. I just discovered tonight that I began in a piano bar. I didn't know that's what you called it. <laughs> I didn't. I, I was uh, 15, and um, during the summer, my father, who built bridges, construction man, um, would come home from work, and um, my mother would feed him dinner at five. And then my mother and I would get dressed, and we would get in the car, and my father would drive, and we would drive to a piano bar that still exists on Vermont in Los Angeles called the Dresden Room. And my father would go to sleep in the car, and my mother would walk in and pretend to be my sister, because if she came in as my mother, they would start to question my age. And of course, everyone bought us drinks, and my mother would drink hers, and then I would switch glasses with her, and she would drink mine. And at the end of the evening, I usually had to carry her out. But that's how I began. I began in a piano bar. And I see it all the time on Vermont. It's still there. I can't believe it. Oh, God, I've been lucky. I was born on a kitchen table in Maryville, Tennessee. And uh, uh, my father, God love him, couldn't read or write, and my mother went to the third day. And uh, all I ever wanted to do was be Shirley Temple. <laughs> and when I was a little girl, I had Shirley Temple shoes and Shirley Temple dresses and everything. And I had Shirley Temple curls, and uh, that's all I wanted. I never wanted to be an actress. I didn't even know what that meant. And I wasn't sure about being a singer, though I could carry a tune. I just wanted to be a star. You know, most people won't admit that. You know, they talk, well, I studied hard with my acting and my... No, I wanted to be a star. <laughs> and then, of course, Shirley Temple grew up and had dark hair and became a Republican. That took care of that. I was, <laughs> but I've had such a good time. And I, I think if I have any drawback as a person, it is that I had too good a time. I, I wanted to do too many things. I, I should have just, I should have just kept singing, and <clears throat> then maybe I'd be a singing legend, or I should have kept acting, and then I'd be an acting legend, or I could have stayed in business, and I would have been, uh, lauder, you know. Uh, but I loved doing it all. And it's only late in my life now that I realize that the one thing that I love the most, and the thing that I began doing when I was very, very young, was to sing. So I would like to take my award, and I would like to um, stop what I've done for the last 78 years, and sing. Joe? <laughs> Joseph Falcon. Day. They 
burst your pretty balloon and take the moon away. It's time to wind up the masquerade. Just make your mind up. The piper must. Welcome. 